Have you ever wondered what happens to those discarded cardboard boxes you see lying in the street? Perhaps in the crate at the end of a supermarket checkout? Well, it turns out that they go on magical adventures. That's if Stella's journey is to be believed. Now, this isn't entirely true, obviously, because the box in question is actually Stella. So it's a strange little almost fairy tale type thing where apparently for some reason she gets turned ah oh, into a cardboard box and crushed. What a crush and shame. Go, 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 go. Right, I've got to zoom past these blocks without getting smushed again. Wait, wait. Uh, I don't know why she's a cardboard box. We haven't got that far. It doesn't really explain. It just says, and she got turned into a cardboard box and now she has to float about. So... That's what I'm doing. I control the box using wind. I tap anywhere on the screen and a little gust of wind appears and that's ah how I'm actually maneuvering the box around the screen and into big chunks of flame and plasma by the look of it. It reminds me of Lost Winds, which is that game that I, I can't remember if it originally came out on the Wii, but uh, it was a game that got ported over to iPhone and iPad, which had a similar sort of wind-based mechanic. You don't control the box or character directly, you just tap in the direction, there you go, like either side, uh, and that will make it fly along or levitate or whatever else. So what do we got to do? First, let's collect this little green ball. As you move Stella, as the box is called, near the balls. Uh, she immediately tries to pick it up, keeps the box level, and then when you move over the green button, she will twist and drop it round automatically, which will then open a door, presumably in the distance. Um, here's a weird waterfall. It's all done in this very hand-drawn looking art style, which is okay, but not. I'm not really amazed by it, I'll be honest, because I saw the uh, cutscene at the very, very beginning, and Stella herself, when she's a girl, she's a normal girl form, not cardboard box form, looks well creepy, <laughs> at least to my eyes. Now, so I think I've pushed that as far as I can go, so I now need to go up and get before it closes, before it closes, go on. Yeah, nice. Slip through here. Just made it. And now I'm getting drowned. Crap. Do we, uh, oh, the water bursts me into a million cardboard pieces. What? Water doesn't do that. Quick, 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 go then. Go, 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 go. Thank you. So yellow buttons can be pressed by Stella herself. Green buttons have to be activated by dropping those green balls into it. Other than that, it's a sort of floaty puzzle platformer, I guess. And... The controls work fine. There's no music, I notice. Uh, we are in kind of preview mode here, incidentally. This is a test flight build of the game, so... Oops, it's not finished, complete or anything. I don't know if music is going to get added at a later date or what. Things may change. Um, but at the moment, it's sort of functional. And some of the puzzles are... I guess... I mean, it's sort of simple, but... I don't know. Playable, I guess? Eek. I think the box sort of stands out slightly as incongruous against the rest of it. So the backgrounds all look very hand-drawn and very, very hand-drawn and not especially refined, um, while the foreground is clearly a sort of 3D rotating box. Now, obviously, I need to find a way to expand my box. I need to make a bigger box because I can't possibly pick up these green things at the moment. Is this going to kill me? No, it's not. It's not that kind of water, apparently. Let's go up here and see if I can find a way to make my box magically bigger. Okay, no, so I just roll them. I'm going to roll them into this slipstream, and I bet you that they will suddenly fly up. There we go. Magic. Okay, but I need to make sure it stays there. So, get me, just get, cram, 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 cram. Damn you. There we go. And I'm going to gently coax it towards. There we are. You can fly up there. I'm also going to go and grab this one because I think we'll need both. In fact, there may be three actually, might there? I seem to remember a third one. Let's get out of the way. Go, 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 go. I guess it's a change from the standard fairy tale thing of going to rescue a princess. Instead, you're a princess who happens to have been turned into a box, but a weird subject for a game, I think we'll all agree. It's not especially flashy or anything, and um, while I applaud it for doing something a bit weird in terms of the narrative, the mechanics are sort of standard. I mean, like I say, if you've played Lost Winds or if you've played any of these games where you do propel objects around by wind or external forces or whatever, whoops, 
It is kind of fiddly as well, but that's probably more due to me not being used to it. This is only the very the second level of it. Now, this thing should disappear. There we go. Success. I'm going to float down and down. The way the levels are laid out, you kind of have to be careful because you're always sensing. I think that red flash on the box indicates that danger is coming. Ah, oh, not a lot I could have done about that. I'll be quite honest. So yeah, the box flashes red and indicates there is danger. How is that levitating in midair? That's not... If I hit it, will I die? No, it just levitates. Okay, fine. Here we go. D danger is coming. Danger is coming, John Spartan. Ah! Ah, missed me. Let's go again. This thing isn't... There's, beyond the fact that I know it's coming, all I have to do is I just keep going and going and going. Keep going. And hope it doesn't smash into my head. There you go, because I don't really know exactly where it's coming from, apart from above. Massive box! I've got a massive box now. Do I need to make that massive box hit that massive button? Let's find out. Can I hit it with this? Bam. Yeah, I can. So what's the big deal? Ooh, crap, a platform. Oh, I need to get the massive box onto the massive platform, perhaps? That would make sense. Let's go back here and shunt it on over. Go on, go on. Okay, and then we're going to push this over to here. Can I get under it? Under it and push it up? Go on, go on, son. Yeah, that's how you do it. Oh, no, it's not how you do it. I need to keep it rolling. Crap, 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 crap. Right, calm down. Let's do it nice and cautiously. We'll flip it up like that, and then... Do the same thing again, just a little bit higher. Come on, a little bit higher, a little bit higher. Ah. Go, 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 go. Yes! That is how we do. Now, what have I achieved with that? Apparently nothing. <laughs> Maybe I have to go and get those massive stone balls with this. Maybe that's what it does. It lets me collect... The gigantic stone boulders. Will it work? I guess you'll have to wait and see. Uh, I'm going to leave it right there. Stella's Journey. We don't have a release date yet, but uh, it'll be coming out on iOS, iPhone, and iPad sometime in the not-too-distant future. Thank you for watching. This has been James with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.